Let's talk about all this with senior political analyst Britt Hume. Good evening, Britt. Hi, Mike. Things are so polarized now, even Independence Day is controversial? Well, it seems, seems to be. And, you know, the one thing that you never hear critics of this country along the lines we've just heard in Anita's report, never hear them cite, is some country which measures up to their standards. You never hear about a, another country which is doing a better job of it than we had. And there's a reason for that. I can think of no nation on earth, and perhaps no nation in history, that has tried harder or done more to bring its minority populations into the mainstream of the country with all its freedoms and advantages. And in fact, you know, it, it hasn't been all that long ago that, fr that slavery, um, which is talked about more today than, than at any time perhaps since the Civil War, um, was universal. It was everywhere. Going back to biblical times, it was everywhere. This country has is, is, is gone a long way. Uh, longer, I think, than any nation to remedy the ills that grew out of that, the lack of freedom, the, the severe violation of human rights. You never hear these critics say, well, we'd rather be like this country or that country. They what, can't, in my view. What's striking to me is this comes after we've had a two-term African-American president, and now we have an African-American female vice president, Britt. That's one more sign of how open this country has become and how much more opportunity is available now to minority populations than, than ever used to be the case, and that may be the case anywhere else in the world. So I, 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 my view is that the people who say these things, um, they do a wonderful job of getting publicity for themselves. I mean, this group, the squad, gets coverage far beyond its influence. But, you know, you wonder if they, if they have any real historical knowledge, if they remember the Civil War and what it was fought for, if they remember the Civil Rights Movement and its great achievements. In fact, you may have heard me say this before, Mike, but I think among the greatest achievements of the Civil Rights Movement was the uni virtually universal consensus in this country among, among all people against racism. Being called a racist, labeled a racist, is one of the worst things that can happen to you. That's because the American people simply do not approve of racism. They're against it. And, you know, that's not true in every other country, but it's certainly true here. These people, you know, you'd think they were born 10 years ago. Do they not know of these things? Do they know how, not know what it was like when we did have systemic racism, even after slavery, until the civil rights movement, when, when laws and election procedures and so forth were stacked against black people? All of that has been wiped away. As a man of faith, Britt, it makes you wonder what it will take to heal this great country, at least with those folks. I think it'll take a considerable leader. I'm not sure we have one yet. Britt Hume, many thanks for your time. Happy Independence Day. Appreciate your analysis, sir. Thanks, thanks Mike. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.